Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got Momo Girls Girl With Music. Now, I did show this when I first received it in a colouring book haul, but I haven't actually done the review and flip through for my channel because it came when uh, we'd moved from Brisbane back to Sydney last year and I had quite a, a stack of things that had come in that time and... Uh, the colouring cream runs slower with reviews than any uh, public transport place going. I'm always so far behind, it's ridiculous. So I know that everyone probably has already seen this book, but new people come to the colouring community all the time. And so I'll continue to show it, but I also show it so that I know what books that I have because my YouTube channel is a bit like a colouring book diary. So we've got the stunning coloured illustrations at the front of the book. Just beautiful. I love Momo Girl, she's such a talent. Aren't these beautiful? So she does like gothic and modern and cute. She does it all. She's just an amazing talent. Look at this one two different ways. Isn't it amazing how different things just look so different with different colours? Like look at this, like the whole choice in hair and the autumn theme up against the summer theme. A spring theme, the different colouring on the bird. Isn't that just amazing? Oh, it's so inspiring just seeing the way that these are coloured differently. Makes me want to go buy another book now. So then we've got the lovely illustrations, which are printed in black on a white background with a lovely smooth paper medium quality and you know it's called girl with music for a reason so there is a lot of music in here or references to music in the text in korean on the other side and look at her shading on this isn't it just stunning isn't this beautiful Everything she does is, you know, just beautiful. Got a double page spread here. She's coming out with a set of postcards soon. And I hope she does another tutorial book as a companion to this one. Look at all that shading on the butterfly. Another double page spread. Now it is folding down pretty easily. Might need a good spine cracking. I love how her work looks. It's just so soft and delicate, yet easy to read. And she does the most beautiful hair. You can see so much detail in it. And this is gorgeous. The little girl peeking out behind the palms. A nice ocean scene. And all the black has already been pre-coloured. And look how she's hidden this mountain view on her back. It's a picture within a picture within a picture. Oh, and this one's so cute. It's amazing how she can just go from one style to another. So cute to realistic-ish. She's got a lot of different textural elements going on here. Fine lines, soft shading, soft shading, and then a different line colour between these two. There's that cute little picture from before. And see how she's left a little spot there for the highlight on her nose. 
And look at all our mermaids under the sea playing the piano. As you do. And we've even got a, a merman there as well. And here's that gorgeous illustration with the different coloured bird that we seen earlier. Look at this one. This is just gorgeous too. She is such a talent. I hope she continues to produce these beautiful colouring books for us. Look at her little teddy bear. How sweet is that? And see how here we don't have all the shading. Here we've got just line texturals and here we've got all the soft shading. Another stunning picture. Our modern girls. And look at her eyes, look how smoky they are. You can imagine that you just sort of know these people. She draws them so well. This gorgeous picture is often, you see it on Instagram. It's just beautiful. And it's just lovely seeing all the different versions that everyone does. I love that, how everyone thinks so differently about a picture. Looks like a giant crystal ball there. We've got some musical instruments. So this might be a good place to test out your mediums. This one's very different with little birds singing and talking to each other. And then we've got the very beautiful shaded girl in the background with the shading on her hair. But the one in the foreground is all line art. So it's kind of half cutesy, half realistic. We've got a, a stitched binding on there, so you could always snip that if you wanted to, to pull out these double page spreads. So we've got a polar bear with a mask type face on it, a kitty cat, some penguins and a fan. So I guess it is a hot summer. Hot, 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 hot summer, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> the party will never be over. Dance with me to Sweet Space Disco. Stay with me till the song is over. Dance with me and sadness fades away. So I guess even aliens and um, astronauts need some music in their life, as do polar bears and kitty cats. <laughs> Oh, this one is just creepy as. It's like the Grim Reaper is coming down to steal this young violinist. And this, she's unleashing her dark side here. She's even got dark fingernails. And look at that. Look at the talons coming at you. And this is beautiful. Such a lovely image. I've got to say, I like the sort of florally ones a little bit better than the gothic ones, but I'm a wuss. I think we all know that I get scared. And so then we've got this beautiful one with another gorgeous crystal ball. Lots of shadowing there around her nose and whatnot. And then the little cutesy skulls on the other side. Another gothic illustration with beautiful look on her face, that tilt upwards and yeah, it's beautiful, even though it is a little creepy. And then we've got some gorgeous illustrations here. Seems to be something for everyone in this book, more so than in her first book. So if you like gothic, if you like line art, if you like cutesy, seems to be just uh, different things there for everyone. Now, this one's at the end, uh, single-sided. And you might remember those coloured pictures are done different ways from earlier in the book based on these illustrations. So she's really uh, excelled at doing something that everyone might enjoy. 
So you got something creepy for Halloween, beautiful and pensive for other occasions, cutesy. And these are scaled down from the original double page spreads. So it's nice that you've got a couple of different ways there that you can colour some of those pictures too. And then we've got that gorgeous cover art behind that beautiful dust jacket. The Girl with Poem and the Girl with Poem Companion Tutorial Book. And I hope she does another one for this one as well, a tutorial book, because she's an amazing colourist. I don't know if she did the cover art here, but it's gorgeous. Now I've also got some coloured uh, postcards with these as well. Which are, of course, stunning. And they're from those illustrations within the book. So that's it from me. Until next time, happy colouring.